Hey everybody, we are back and let's start off the chase. Um, uh, is it just him chasing after us or do the guys also chase after us? Lawrence is chasing you, but the two ladies from the camp as well as a few other soldiers are headed your way. Um, it looks like two more women and a man. Uh, but they're all a little bit behind Lawrence. All right. Um, so, go ahead. If I, like, I just like to calculate, like, let's say my character would stop running and cast something. I would think that he would hit me or like, am I far enough away? That's an initiative roll. Oh, uh, okay. Um, so let's figure out what everyone's doing. Ooh, whoa, our order got changed somehow. Uh, Ransom, can you cycle? Awesome, thank you. Uh, so, Olivia, you're gonna cast a spell? I'm not sure. I guess I'll run for a round and then I'll cast a spell in another round. All right, so everyone's running. Um, let's take a quick look at the rules. At what point do we start making checks? Uh, Cause you guys have a long way to run. I think you don't need to start making checks until you run out of a certain amount of con. Uh, continued running requires a constitution check. Let's see. Hmm. Uh, doesn't let's see there are no more after some. The uh, character can automatically keep going for the number of rounds equal to his constitution. After this limit has been reached, the player must roll a successful con check at the end of each round spent jogging. There are no modifiers to this con check. Once a con check has failed, the character must stop and rest. Okay, so who has the lowest constitution of the party? I got 12. 12? Ransom, what do you got for con? Uh, 11. 11. All right, Kess and Ransom are at 11. Let's see what the guard's constitution is. Oh my. <laughs> um, mark that over here. And person, oh, that's terrible. That's not bad. That is god awful. It's not bad. That's even. And last one. Oh my god, that's gotten four con. Worst. Um. Okay, so uh, after 11 rounds, those of you with 11 constitution need to make me con checks um, to see what's going on. When you mean, uh, or we'll need to rest, does that mean like walking will do? Yeah, walking would do uh, before you can start running again. You'd have to slow to a, a walking pace or, or stop. Uh, but since Lawrence is just right behind you, he'll be on you right away. Uh, the other so people are two rounds behind him. Got it. Um, a d20 plus con, you want a 21 or higher. During the 11 rounds that I was running, mm -hmm. I know my limits, so I was getting ready to drop caltrops. Ooh. Uh, can I drop those while I'm on the run? Um, yeah, let's see, the caltrops are... Where do you have your hold your caltrops? In a, a convenient pouch on my belt. Sure. If it's just on your belt, that's not a problem. You can uh, pull them off and dump them along the road or dump them along the path behind you. All right, uh, I'm gonna do that on like the turn just before I'm about to run out of breath and then Perfect. we'll go. Okay, let's look up Caltrops. All right, so both of you after 11 rounds of running reach your end and need to rest. A, B, C, D, C, Caltrop. Da, 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 da. In order to be effective, at least 10 must be scattered in a five by five area. How many Caltrops do you have? I have uh, 25. 
Okay, so you can scatter them all over the place. Uh, any character entering the area must roll a successful saving throw versus paralyzation or step on a caltrop. Okay, so Lawrence is right behind you. He doesn't know what the hell you're doing when you're dropping these behind you. So he... Ooh, I think that... I think by against all odds, he passes, but I need to double check. Cause it's, he rolled a 17 and a zeroth level f character as a paralyzation save of 17 exactly. So he runs right through the caltrops. You've got 20, so you've got two squares. So he needs to make two saving throws. Uh, no, the second one is definitely a fail. So Lawrence comes running through and steps on one of the caltrops, yelling in pain and taking how much damage? Do you know? Uh, no, not off the top of my head. Uh, I Does think he it's... drop his sword by chance? <laughs> no. He's running with his sword, and if he got caught on something, I would assume his sword would like fly out of his hand. Uh, he stepped on something. He's not throwing his magic sword away just because he stepped on something. <laughs> um, and just go pluck it out of his hand. <laughs> okay, and he fails the second save, so he is badly damaged with this and cannot move at more than one third movement rate until he's healed up. Oh no. So Lawrence gets stuck on these things, gives a cry in pain, yells out, Oh my god, they laid caltrops in the ground! What sort of monster leaves he's lying around? Oh dear god, my foot! Um, and the people following him split to go around. Um, so they are a few rounds behind you guys. Um, so the person with 11 makes it, makes it, and ooh. No, on the third round, they're going to slow down. So, um, Kess and Ransom, after you guys reach your limit and you can't keep running anymore, what do you do? I turn around and I draw my size. Okay. Yeah, looks like, uh, I'm sorry, I can't keep going. I'm going to have to stand and fight here. Okay. Or we can probably talk it out. Um, you notice a bunch of the guards have stopped further back in the woods and are leaned over huffing and puffing like a hand against a tree like oh oh my god i can't keep running uh but it looks like just... four of them have made it to you one of them has slowed to a Wait, like a, i thought a only walk. two girls and a guy were following us no, no it was the two girls and then a bunch more people two more girls and a guy so it was a total of five plus lawrence uh... a total of six came after you um two of them didn't make it uh this so... far there's so there's four total, three right. girls and one guy. Yes, plus Lawrence. All right. uh, but he's like, he's Lawrence is like hopping up and down on one foot, trying to pull this big spike out of his other foot. All right, all so right, let's... guys, this is all a great misunderstanding. Uh, we are just here to return a ring to a nice old lady. They draw their short swords and start to fan out in the forest. Um, one of them you says, if, fight you. Oh, then maybe you shouldn't have attacked an officer of the law. Can I cast something? Yeah. Everyone right. else seems just to be content to talk it out until someone makes a move. I want to also cast something. As well. oh we did God. not attack him. He attacked us and we just ran for our lives. You should know better than to run from an officer, for, officer of the law as good as being guilty. And then I, <laughs> I cast Wyvern Watch around us. Ooh. What's the area of effect of Wyvern Watch? 10 foot radius, I'm pretty sure would be nice. That's pretty good. There. Yeah, as long as you guys all stay within the area of effect of Wyvern Watch, you guys are in good Fun place. fact, it lasts up to eight hours. <laughs> what are you casting, Cass? Uh, well, now I don't know if I should cast it because I don't know if it's going to mess with your spell. If I cast Wall of Fog, hmm. it mess with the Wyvern. No, that's that fine. pretty good, too. Oh, no, they I actually would synergize. It, it would spell. synergize, actually. <laughs> yeah, those two spells work really well together. Perfect. I cast Wall of Fog, then. Okay, so you blanket yourselves in this Wall of Fog, which reduces visibility to two feet. Um, so no one can see anyone anymore. <laughs> Their shouts go up amongst the guards as the this fog just blankets the area. 
Uh, Do I notice what this wyvern watch is? Does it like look like something? I uh, just didn't know. No, because she casts Wall of Fog as Olivia's casting Wyvern Watch, and the Wyvern in the Wyvern Watch is misty, so you can't see it in fog at all. Then um, I say just wait, see. I casted it after she did, so yeah, I mean, wouldn't you, it technically be? You maybe saw a bit of circle or whatever. You might have seen a little like a, a hazy wyvern appear and then everything else turned to haze around it. For the it uninitiated, nice. it could be anything. The guards that got hit, so I can't see him in the wall of fog. No, you can't see anyone. You can only see two feet in front of you. Ah, oh, good job, Kess. Can we, uh, and Then I escape? say, stay, stay close to me, people. We are protected right now. Let's just try to end this with a nice discussion, and if not, we'll just leave. Uh, one of the soldiers out there, one of the women, mutters something about foul sorcerers under her breath. Uh, and you can hear the right, well, these guards shuffling through the the, the grass. You I know say, what? I call out, Lawrence. I wasn't going to rat you out, but uh, you know how I got this ring. Lawrence was dealing with the grave robbers. You hear a low chuckle coming from all across the front. And you know, you Lawrence, just, they're all <laughs> under the. It's they not. All it's robbers. not. It's not very worthy to deal with grave robbers when you're supposed to be the law. You left them like this. It's unacceptable, Lawrence. You should be ashamed of yourself. We just want to. Can I uh, look to where? Like I know I I know where Lawrence was though. So can I walk over to him? Sure, you can start moving in that direction. Um, no, so. stay with me. You're protected. I know. I'm within ten feet, though. You well, Lawrence is pretty the, much. Lawrence is much farther than ten feet because he stepped on a caltrop last round, so he's. Uh, so is he not in the fog either? No, no. Lawrence is pretty far out. Um, oh. He stepped on the caltrop last round, uh, okay, and then well, you guys I'm ran a little bit. Towards... Okay. The area of the cube is twenty plus thirty, so it's fifty. But it's uh, a 50 foot cube. Um, or it's a 20 foot cube plus a 10 foot cube. It's not quite a 50 foot cube. Uh, so it's a big chunk of fog. So you can walk to the other side of it. And why don't you roll me initiative, Kess? In fact, everyone in the party can roll me initiative. They done well for themselves. Five, eight. And eleven. Okay. So Kess is inching her way out of the fog. Ransom and Olivia, what are you guys doing? I'm staying right there. I'm notching. Actually, I have a, a flail, so I'm gonna do a, you know, like hold action, defend move thing. Like if he approaches, I hit it. Bam! I'm uh, staying near Kess with my halberd drawn. I don't have any intentions of attacking anyone, though. Unless they like charge at us, obviously attacking, and then I'll do my attack if opportunity. Okay. Um, so, Kess, you make it out of the fog, and just as you're stepping out of it, uh, you step out near one of the women that's on the outside. She sees you. She has an attack readied in case someone comes out of the fog and springs to attack you with her short sword, stabbing you with a 13 to hit. Is that a hit? Yes. I don't think my armor classes the rest. Does the base go up every level, right? No, it doesn't. At all. Okay. No. Um, I have a 13 as my armor. Okay. So she stabs you for three points of damage with her short sword. Okay. Um, and calls out, one of them's over here! And then it's your turn. Yes. Okay, um, I stab at her. 
Give me a roll to hit. Stop fighting! If you stop fighting now, we will not surrender you to the higher authority. You know we have some good friends who are lords in this area. <laughs> Two of them, actually. Two lords! Ooh, nice hit. Uh, you critical the guard. She's got chainmail on. I'm sorry, not chainmail. She's got um, leather armor on. So she has 13 AC. So you stab her badly. Okay, for uh, triple damage or double damage? Okay. All right. You run her through with your sigh, and she crumples to the ground. Who else is out there? Are they all in Um, You can't see them. They are, might be in the fog, or they might have wrapped themselves around the outside of the fog. Okay. Um, you can see Lawrence. He's in front of you. Looks like he's gotten the caltrop out of his foot, and he's limping in your direction, brandishing a sword. I go towards him, and I still have a second attack. So. Um, okay, he's you're going to have to attack him next round, because he's still too far away, okay. and he's really slow. Uh, okay. Let's roll initiative again. Cass, what have you done? You've killed the guard. I didn't kill her. I defended myself. She attacked me. And I, like, like touched the wound that she, like, hit me with that I was bleeding. The and guard. I'm like, stop fighting now. I'll heal her. Don't let your comrade die for this. We can end the fight now. There are shouts from the other, the opposing side, trying to figure out who's been stabbed. Um, eventually, you know, by process of elimination, when one person doesn't speak up, uh, they realize that the one, you know, a specific person is dead, and they come in your direction. Kess, you rolled a what for initiative? An eight. eight. Jen, what did you roll for initiative? Nothing. Eight. No, that I was, rolled eight. That was last round. Oh, I'll roll again. Sorry. Yeah. Are you doing anything? Ooh, seven. seven. Uh, what are you doing, Jen? Because you're the first. I'm holding action. Okay. Good. Uh, v, you are next. Are they, so are they coming at me, like, with weapons? Lawrence is. He's got a short sword drawn and coming in your direction. The other two haven't, the other I three have haven't made a round. out ready to attack Lawrence. All right. Yes, just to let you know, I'm I'm not like I can't move yet, but I am standing near you, like kind of guarding you with my halberd. If you get out of range, though, I can't guard you. Did you come out of the fog, Ransom? Yeah, I was hanging out with her. Okay, cool. So, do you go forward to meet Lawrence, or are you just waiting for him to come to you, Cass? I'm waiting for him to come to me. Okay, cool. I'm letting uh, Ransom kind of chill me a little. There is the, the flurry of footsteps, and from either end of the fog, at uh, slightly different times, come two more of the town guards. Uh, Ransom, you've got reach too, so you get an opportunity attacks as these people come into range. Go ahead and make Don't me... Don't come closer! I don't want to fight! Uh, they, they're they running, screaming at you with a war cry, swords raised high, ready to stab you. And yeah, horrible line, Forcers! Horrible! Not even an ounce of respect. Lord, Lord, what? Lord something. Do Lord, I have? Do I have an opportunity of attack as well against the other? Um, one? no. Ransom gets one because his weapon is so long that they have to like come all the way inside oh, of its okay. reach. So he he's got a special right. weapon. Oh my God, Ransom, a critical hit. <laughs> wow. All right. Let's see. Yeah. Only because his weapon oh. is so big. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> oh my god. You literally lop someone's head off with your halberd. All right, and here's my other guy. The other guy charging in. Is a miss. Oh. Um, Lord Calabell would know about this, except if you leave now. Okay. The one that you missed comes in for an attack uh, with a 11 to hit against Ransom. Uh, I have AC 15. Okay. Her short sword scrapes against your armor. Um, and Olivia, I think, you, no, you already went. I held action. Right, you're hiding in the fog. Um, 
Lawrence eventually makes it all the way up towards Ransom and Kess. Uh, I think he okay, so Kess's only one of the guards got went down. One of them attacked Ransom uh, and missed. And Lawrence is here now, and he's Don't coming. Be dumb, Lawrence! I say as he's coming at me. He's coming at Kess because Kess is standing in front of you with the the size out, all ready to fight him. Um, so, Cass, go ahead and get your opportunity or your readied attacks against Lawrence. Wait, <laughs> I have a question. So, dude, I <laughs> my modifier on that then. Because I, I only put one. Doesn't yeah, matter. You I rolled a one. <laughs> it's, a no I <laughs> it's a normal attack. Um, no bonuses. Uh, but you still rolled a one. So, give me a saving throw versus death, please. <laughs> and we'll see. Roll, roll a D. D it, right? a, a d20, and you want to roll your paralyzation, poison, or death magic, or higher. Okay. That is not a pass. Um, <laughs> I think yours is 13, so you 13. fail by <laughs> one. Uh, you have a, a poor recovery. You kind of take a stab with one of your size and throw yourself off balance. Next round, you have an initiative penalty of two, but give me your second psi attack as well. Okay. Is that a minus two? Here. No, no. No, no penalty. Ooh. Right, yeah. Wow, you critical Lawrence. You're god. Just double crit? Single crit. So, two damage. Two damage. Yeah. Damn. Uh, you're still rolling. We need to figure out whether your size do d4 or d6. Well, let's do that after the this episode. Okay. Um, but you stab Lawrence in the gut. He slumps to the ground and topples over, uh, oh, laying over his sword. <laughs> I take it. Wait, I took his. Can I take his sword? Or is over? Uh, oh, you could. Or I take his sword. You could. You um, could. You guys still hear the movements of one other person who shouts out, "Lawrence, Jill," and then I go, "Patrick," and then I go, "Yes, it's me, Lawrence." <laughs> I take the sword and I tuck it in my back pocket and put my shirt over it. I'm stuck in the fog. Come it's like, and get me. It's like this oh, long. Really it's, it's a sword. Okay. You can't put a sword Whatever. in a pocket. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I meant like in my pants. <laughs> you put the sword well, inside your pants? I mean like, like in the back. Whatever. It's something that's not like showing. <laughs> <laughs> You put the sword in your pants pocket. Um, it's so, in Stardew Valley. Um, you hear a flurry of footsteps leaving your guys' position. Uh, it's behind you, somewhere on the other side of the fog. The one remaining guard is legging it. No! It's Lawrence! Come and get me in the fog! <laughs> Jimmy! Uh, a few Jimmy. minutes pass and the forest grows quiet. Uh, you guys are Did alone. Escape? The other person what? has left, has escaped. They were on the other side of the fog from where you guys were and headed away from you. So no one could see them until, uh, well, because it's because they're you know a big wall of fog was in between you guys. Mm -hmm. Guys, what have you done? You Olivia, what have you done? You've killed so many guards for you no reason. You made them attack us. I didn't make them attack you. I was just. I wasn't to... going to attack anybody. Look at me, and I like have a bleeding wound. I'll fix it. Like you I up. came out of the fog, and I had to protect myself. I told you to stay with me in the fog while we talked it through. They with were them. still going to do something. They weren't no. listening or anything. If they, I don't know why you picked a fight with them. That's I what did, made them chase us. I did not pick a fight with them. I was just trying to uncover the truth. Yeah, and you didn't think he knew what he had done. We already on, knew the Olivia. truth. With great this is why you let me do the talking, Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? After today, you both suck at talking. And I walk off. <laughs> well... We should at least bury their bodies. It's a great dishonor to leave bodies like that up in the wild. Or at least float them. It seems like it's the tradition around here. I turn around. You're right. We should float the bodies. 
Especially since we don't need that under our... We should probably be respectful of the guards and bring them back to their camp so their fellow guards can do uh, what's appropriate. And you don't think if we bring that back, they'll just kill us there? Well, it looks like they can't kill us, probably because we're too powerful. Or because we got lucky, but sure. <laughs> I look to Olivia to to uh, hmm. heal my wounds. I feel we should float the bodies. I say while like posing a hand onto her and casting. I think we should just and... respectfully light them around this area, perhaps on trees, so that their uh, comrades can pick them up later. Um. As for Lawrence, I guess he won't be needing this anymore. I kind of, like, get my gold back. <laughs> <laughs> um, you find your gold is in a bag with the rest of his money. Um, if you would just want your gold, that's fine. If you're going to take everything else, I can tell you how much is in there. Yeah, I'll take everything else, That's too. what I thought. Um, <laughs> there's a total of 30 gold, the gold that you gave him included, in there. Plus what looks to be about 80 silver. And 50 copper. All right. I'll... What else is there on his body? You start I digging through. Uh, yep. You start digging through his pockets. Sure. Um, you find some lint, a used handkerchief. Um, What's lint? It's like the little bits of your clothing that end up in your pockets. Oh. All right. That's exciting. Oh. <laughs> um, give me a perception check, actually, Olivia, while you're doing this. Yo, here's Lint. Thanks, Neil. <laughs> Welcome. Nope. Okay, that's fine. That's all you find on him. Hmm. Can I also search bodies? Sure. You can search these other totally lawful city guards who you've killed in cold blood in the forest, far no, away from their yeah, home and their families. Yeah. They all they all take from the dead. They're no, no, no. no. They're, they are not lawful. They are, like, at least neutral people. Maybe with even a corrupt, chaotic tendency. So I look over the bodies, and I also look over Lawrence one more time as well. Sure. Let me make some rolls real quick here. Um, you look over the other bodies. You pull out a total... This did not go so well for them. You guys pull out a total of 24 more gold. Wow. Um, yeah, Lawrence had a bunch. These other guys did not have very much gold on them. Um, and what is this? You pull out 162 silver. Are you guys noting that? Because I didn't note anything. Well, I'm writing it down right now. So he had they had 24 gold. 162, 162 silver. 162 silver, okay. And Lawrence had... Well, I think... you. I think Ransom already up. pulled all the stuff yeah. off Lawrence. Okay, so the I took off yeah. 24 gold and 162 silver. Let me put that on my sheet. Uh, and there's also uh, 270 copper if you want. That's a lot of copper. copper. And since coins weigh five, uh, it's 50 coins to the pound. That's like five pounds of copper coins. Five pounds of pennies. Uh, do we want to? <laughs> do any of you guys want to take any of those? Mm, it's fine. We don't have the time for this. They're going to come after them. I, in the meantime, while he's searching, I've started to kind of lean the guards up against trees so that they're not like as exposed, I guess. Mm -hmm. I really think we need to float them. I think it's unacceptable to just leave in like that. I don't think we have the luxury to float them. Of course we do. There's like one guard left. Yeah, but you know the saying, where there's one guard, there's more guards. Stop being selfish for once and focus on what's right. We just did wait, something so Wait wrong. a second. I think your selfishness for your, your curiosity has just gotten us all branded as criminals. Well then, maybe we should rid the camp of all these guards so that we're not branded as criminals. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting me pissed off. I don't I don't think we're going to be caught as criminals. These guys involve themselves in criminal acts. They're not going to turn anybody in because that would put attention to what they do. 
You're right. Well, I've got a different idea of what's going to happen. Those remaining guards are going to report back to the city that they got ambushed out here, and they're going to want our blood. Up to you guys. I see two options. I think it's time for a nice, relaxing vacation way to the south, or to the west, or to the east. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, then. All right, I'm starting to carry a body towards the river. You start dragging a corpse. Is it super far away? Yeah, it's like three miles. Oh. Six kilometers. As soon as I realize that, I just drop it down. <laughs> It's so heavy. I'm bored. <laughs> I'm done with this bullshit. This was just a horrible, horrible happening. Maybe Wait, so, uh, you guys can write, right? Um, maybe you can leave a note saying, we're sorry that they're dead, but they were in the wrong or some such. I'll let you guys do that. I'm going to go collect my caltrops. I think I'll just... <sighs> I write on some paper and leave a note saying, attack by grave robbers. <laughs> I love it. And then underneath that, I just add, they struck again. Exclamation point. <laughs> and then, oh yeah, and then I do a little map with like an X where we met the guys. Like a really crude map. Like, it's like. Can I also make sure to write and not my normal, like, handwriting? <laughs> Okay. Um, so, you pick up all of your Caltrops Ransom. Uh, you guys leave this note on these bodies, and... Then what? Time to move on back home? back to our ship. <laughs> Alright. You get back to the boat uh, a little bit later. They didn't have any other items, like the ring and stuff like that? Did we get the ring? Yeah. We already had the ring. Yeah. And I we have the, the ring, Olivia. Okay. You didn't find any other items on him? Mm hmm. So, yeah. We, when Olivia detected magic on the sword, can she tell what kind of magic it is on the I sword? I think that's. That, that might just be a wizard thing. Let's Check. find out, though. Detect magic. I think I have a chance to find something. You might. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have a 10% chance per level to determine the sphere of magic. Uh, you're level 3? Yeah. Oops. Uh, no, you do not detect the type of magic on it. So, Neil, as a like spellcaster, and mm -hmm. not as a spellcaster, but like as a religious person, uh, would I feel that I need to like do some type of prayer or something to like apologize to my god about my comrade's wrongdoings? What is your god again? Technically, remember, we were attacked first. We didn't I did do not, wrong. I did not attack nor kill anyone. I didn't even see the fight. Well, who's your god? Uh, oh, it it's Reluna. Reluna. The yeah. goddess of passion. Yeah. But, I mean, <laughs> I just didn't do shit. I wasn't even passioned. I was just like... <laughs> right. Well, she's a pretty fickle god. You know, she comes on hot sometimes and then is pretty cold. So it... it with her, you're probably in the clear right now because you actually didn't do anything. Yeah. And had you defended yourself in a situation like that, it might have been reasonable with her. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if there was a if there was a really good reason, you can get away with anything with her. But you know, if there's not a strong reason, she tends to get upset. Yeah, um, but like in this case, not doing anything, I guess was. Okay. Yeah, you you didn't even do anything. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. Then I guess I'm like, eh, you know. You guys messed up, killed some people. I was Wait, just we messed up. I we was messed attacked. up. Olivia. We were attacked. They were very angry. You do know that, right? You do realize we it was just a simple business transaction, and then we're out. I think we could have talked it through. They weren't listening to any words. They attacked us. Well, I didn't fight. see that. I don't know who started. I don't know how it ended. All I know is that I'll just cast an horizon on you and we'll be on our way. I, I'm not accepting of this. Olivia, I don't kill people for fun. If I wasn't attacked, I wouldn't have attacked. 
All right, I believe you. He attacked you. He's a bad person. She attacked me first, and then he did. Why do you think you had to heal one of my wounds? I, I you think know. I stabbed myself? Of course not. You would never do that. That would be ridiculous. <laughs> exactly. All right, all right. We're not killers here. I finished casting my orison on her. How many points did you need? Uh, three. Okay, so I have one left. All right, well, let's go back to the boat and uh, mm -hmm. get back to bridge line, where we are probably going to have to go really far to the south. Or to the west, or to the east, wherever you guys prefer. Okay. Brutus sees you guys coming, gives you a wave as you get back to the boat. You notice that he's rowed himself out into the water a little bit, and as you guys come back, he, he rows back to shore. Gives you a wave. So, do you uh, find what you're looking for? We did. Yeah, I reach into my pocket, I show him the ring. Oh, uh, old lady's going to be really happy we found this. Uh, you done this good. That Brutus. How the hell did you get that? Did you get it? What happened? We told the story to the guard about the old lady, and he was kind enough to give it back. Seriously? He just gave it over? No, actually, I had to give him 15 gold, but uh, hey. You know, them city guards are uh, not very good folks. Not very trustworthy folks, either. Why are they even established as city guards if they're so... Well, maybe because you're a foreigner, you don't understand, but there's a red dragon lives around these parts, and the mountain's just northwest of the... I'm sorry, just west of the town, or the, the city. And, uh... Well, she collects a, a mighty tax on the kingdom. Makes it pretty damn near impossible to get anything done. Pretty much everyone's broke. And, uh, well, yeah, uh, you know, corruption flows from the top. World's in a pretty crappy state, if you ask me. But you folks have paid in advance, so I trust you. Um, well, let's, let's get you us all back to bridge light. Get let's go. Eerie feeling out here. I don't like being out like this. Yeah, I don't like it either. A good man, Brutus. Okay. You're a great man, Brutus. Um, do you guys inspect the sword at any time on the boat with Brutus? Nah. Nope. 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 Just leave it tucked away in your pants. Yep. Um, all right. You guys eventually get back to bridge light safe and sound. Um, with no problems encountered whatsoever. Brutus pulls on to the dock, just as the sun is setting, helps you guys off, uh, goes to shake all of your hands and goes, well, it's been a... can't quite say it's been a pleasure with all of you. Although he kisses Olivia's hand. With you, it has definitely been a pleasure. Oh, Brutus, you're too kind. Mm. If you ever need a more private boat tour, you let me know. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> he looks at Ransom one more time. Have a good day. <laughs> Hi, you too. Did he say anything to me or no? Uh, he didn't say anything extra to Kess. Okay. Yeah. He, he said the normal goodbye and a normal handshake. Uh, Brutus ties up his boat and heads back home. And you guys are free to... What are you going to do now? Oh, bring the ring back! Because right. we have accomplished our mission. <laughs> yes, you have. You head back to the old lady's house um, the next night. Actually, this is two nights later. Um, and you find her sitting out uh, front on the porch. She's uh, currently knitting something. Uh, stops to see you guys approach. Gets We're up back. And... You're back so soon uh, or so late. I, I don't know which one it is. We did it! You found it? You oh, found my found. husband's magic ring? Yes, we mm -hmm. did! I kind of go up to her and I look at her and I ask her again, how is it your husband came to pass again? 
Yeah, he was thrown from his horse while plowing the fields. Broke his neck. Died in an instant, bless his heart. Couldn't ask for a, a cleaner death than that. What? I guess it's a is good way to go really with this, or is she, like, relieved, or how does she look? Um, she looks kind of just vacant and hollow. Mm. Like she's out of emotion. I guess it's kind of a good way to pass. You know how death can happen is in these lands, like, getting sick. Yeah, you know, at least he wasn't eaten by that dragon. Being mugged. That's true. At least he wasn't eaten by the dragon. Yeah, he got at least, like, not a painful death. Mm. Well, it could have been worse. Yeah. <sighs> well, I do at miss least him. now you'll have this to remember him by. You no, know what I... I felt when I carried it around? Tell me. I almost felt a connection to him, like a spiritual connection. I'm really into stars and astral connection. And I kind of feel like a part of his spirit is left in this ring. I look over at Ransom. She tears up at this and gives you a, a big embrace. Doesn't like, let go for an uncomfortably long uh, period of time. Um, I give her a kiss on the cheek. Yeah. I, I'm going for it. <laughs> <I'm sure. laughs> uh, she weeps openly and uh, eventually, when she calms down, takes the ring back from you guys. Says, I, I, I wish I could offer you something. I, I have Nothing. some nice mutton no pies. Need. No, I, I, honestly, I have a, a, a nice mutton pie. Honestly, you need to give us nothing. Thank you for... How about we'll a blueberry pie? pie? Yes, yes, please. All right, all right. Let's just have a nice slice of pie with this nice lady. and Maybe a little cup of tea, and then we'll call it a day. Okay. She brings you guys... Uh, or I guess takes you guys inside, cuts you some slices of a pie that's been out of the oven for a few minutes, just long enough to... I don't eat any of the pie. Is that because Kess is a vegetarian or because you don't trust her? Because I don't trust her. She I don't serves... eat the pie or drink the tea. She serves pie and tea uh, to the two people who will accept it. What is your excuse when she offers you pie and you... How, how do you decline... The old woman's pie. I let her know I only eat vegetables. Oh, <laughs> just say that. Oh my! Of course you do. How silly am I? I forgot that that elves are a lot like rabbits. Oh, definitely a lot like rabbits. You're right. Mm-hmm. Wait, when did you become a vegetarian, Cass? She's always been a vegetarian. Don't you know that about her? You really aren't paying any attention to your close proximity. Not late, not lately. Well, that's okay. I, I think I can. I think I've got some carrots in the backyard that are ready to. That's okay. You really need nothing for me. I'm actually healing, anyways. I would prefer nothing. I don't understand, but okay. All right. Well, thanks, I eat thank everything you, and drink everything. Cool. Um, Jen, give me a poison save. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, that's it. She gives you some pie, some tea, and you guys can head back to the inn uh, while you wait for Kellen, who's probably actually at the inn waiting for you. Uh, maybe not. Is in, if you guys want to investigate the sword without Kellen around, you guys can. Or sure. if you want to wait for Kellen to be here. The sword. Okay. Uh, the sword has a beautiful steel blade. Most of the things around here are made out of bronze or brass because iron is so rare in this world. It's just hard to come by. So everything's made out of bronze or brass. This is a steel sword, which is very unusual. Um, they're a little bit more expensive than normal weapons. The hilt has little ivory engravings in it. Um, and has a, a nice heavy pommel to balance out the weighty blade. Uh, anything in particular you would like to know? Any spells you'd like to cast? Anything you'd like to do? Um, well, if I detect magic on it, I still can't tell what's on it, though. What kind of magic, right? Ooh, you have a 30% chance to detect what kind of magic is on it. Okay. Uh, I go ahead and detect magic then on it as well. 
does it have a distinctive look that people who know it would be able to recognize? Yeah, as you turn it over um, to look at the backside, you see near the base of the blade are engraved some runes. Um, what languages do you guys speak? Ah, fun times. Yeah. I speak common, a little bit of Elvish, and Orkish. Mm -mm. Uh, I speak... Halfling, Gnomish, Elvish, Dorvish. You! Common. And you can read and write, right, Ransom? Uh, no. Okay, well then, doesn't matter. Uh, okay. Kess, <laughs> what languages do you speak? I don't have them written down, which I don't understand why. Um, second page of your character sheet on the bottom? Yeah, it's not on there. Hmm. I have that I have points in main language, but I don't That's have... The different, okay. So I think you speak common and elven then. Oh, you don't have anything else written down. Those are probably the only two that you do speak. What's your... Um, on the first page, next to your intelligence, there should be a number of languages. What number is that? I have four. Hmm. But I don't know if I save them or not, because we could save them, right? Yeah, to learn them later. But I don't know why I don't have any. My sheet wasn't, like, it was some reason that they had Elvish. Um, gosh, I don't remember the four that I chose. English, Elvish. Common is English, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then what were the other languages? French, Spanish. <laughs> Um, there's a basically every race has their own language. Okay. Um, so you spoke. What, were, what you sp did you say were the common ones we would run into? Um, common, uh, halfling, dwarven's kind of rare. Uh, common halfling. Those are really the two most common languages around. Um, a Kuban is it's not a it's not a racial language. It's a regional language in the far west. Um, there's also Gnomish and Dwarven and like Goblin and Orc and Ogre and all that sort of thing. Okay. Uh, I'll have English, Elvish, and Dwarven, and then I'll save my last one. Yeah. Okay. Because I don't remember. I think me and Anna talked about what languages we might already both know, but I'll have to just have to look hard. So. Okay, so you said there's runes on it, engraved runes, but there's also ivory engravings. Are those uh, the yeah, so the ivory is in the handle of the sword, and the runes are on the ba on one of the side of the blade, okay. on the bottom of the blade. So if I detect magic on it, then sure. I have, do I have to roll? You have a thirty percent chance. Um, so why don't you go ahead and roll a d one hundred, and if you roll a thirty or lower, you can get some sort of. Um, notion of what type of magic might be in the sword. Didn't make me roll earlier. I rolled it for you. I'm letting her roll it publicly. Sorry, Jen. More fun. Yeah. I probably should let you roll it. Gosh dang it. Sorry. <laughs> but I can always do that again. I think it's once day. per day. Day. Yeah, but I mean like once per day. Mm-hmm. Uh, Uh, da, da, da. I think if you don't, if you can't get the type of magic, then you have to wait until you're leveled up again to get the type of magic. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and we can't read what the runes are, right? You speak common and elven? Common, elven, and dwarven. Ooh, yes. If you speak dwarven, you can read it. Um, they are dwarven runes. Yeah! And it says... Uh, in Dwarven, for the friend of the dw uh, of dwarves, for the friend of dwarves, except in Dwarven, friend can be gendered, so you can have friend male, friend female, or friend gender neutral, and this is a female gendered friend, so for the female friend of dwarves. Mm -hmm. What does it say? What does it say? It says, for the friend of dwarves. Hmm. And it speaks of a female friend, so I'm not sure why he had this sword. Maybe this sword is only active in its magic when it's wielded by a woman. 
Well, we'll find out, won't we? I smile as I like swing it around. <laughs> um, okay. If there's nothing else, we're gonna wrap up here for today. Is there anything you guys oh, want to do? I could do detect magic like for the next day or something. Oh, you could, but you your chance to detect this school only happens once per level. So oh, if you miss, I get her roll. Roll. she I'm should sorry. get her roll. <laughs> oh, I wanted to roll. I'm sad. I'm sorry. I'll I'll let you roll next time. All right. Okay. All right. Well, that has been Miss Click's D and D devotion. Uh, next week we're gonna have. Is everyone out next week? Yeah, I think we're off next week. Next week All we're right. not oh, gonna yeah. be 14th. here. 14th. Uh, so no show next week, but the week after that we'll be back. Yes. And then but the week if you guys are bored Ooh. next week, I will be streaming on Valentine's Day, so you can join me on my stream. I'll be streaming on yeah. Valentine's Day too, so you can switch back and forth between our streams, yeah, or you can dual or stream it. Multi stream. <gasps> multi stream. Ooh. I will think about it, but since I have a week off next week, I may actually turn up my stream. Wow! Not like the first time in years. Wow! <laughs> Don't you have something to be doing on Valentine's Day? Who? We'll see about that. I may just be <laughs> playing video games. <laughs> <laughs> Did well, we get to level up this week? We can't level up without Anna. I agree. <laughs> you can't. You can't level up without Anna. Can we level her up? No, no. Everyone's got to be here. Every so, all right. The beginning of next. No, no. Well, after next session, when everyone's around, then we can talk about. I leveling. knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> We're never gonna get leveled. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to start out the shout outs and then we'll roll through them real quick. Like you can find all my stuff at Koibu or at Koibu zero. I am the person who's not a crazy Japanese person who posts very little. Um, you can find me on twitch.tv slash Koibu where I do D and D stuff pretty much all day, every day, uh, noon Pacific till 8 PM Pacific are my streaming hours Tuesday through Sunday. Um, and that's it. Kess. Uh, I'm V Parlefoy and everything Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, all the above. Uh, I stream every day. I will be working on glass this week. Uh, we're doing a lot of just dance. Uh, we have Valentine's Day stream coming up, and then also my two year anniversary stream coming up. Uh, so be sure to tune in for those. And that's it for me, Olivia. You can follow me at Living Pink ST2. The next week I am off, so I may stream. So no promises, but I'll think about it. If I do, not sure what I'll stream. Probably Dota or like a single player game to just relax and chill. Not sure what yet. Uh, so I'll tweet about that. So following me is a good idea because then you'll know. And then after that, yeah, we're off next week. And then we'll find out how I feel about my new job. <laughs> Okay, and Ransom. Cool, you can catch me at Trump SC at the usual platforms. Uh, business as usual. I have a question. What does the SC in Trump SC stand for? Stands for Starcraft. That's what I thought. I just wanted to confirm. All right, guys, we'll see you all in two weeks. Goodbye, everybody.